happy morning guys let us discuss ribothiamine reaction today so ribothiamine reaction is nothing but when a phenol is treated with a base naoh chloroform and it is acid hydrolysis h plus h2 it gives corresponding aldehyde a insertion of an aldehyde group in the ortho position so this is ribothiamine reaction in short a phenol when treated with naoh and chloroform and followed by acid hydrolysis it gives a aldehyde this is phenol as you know this is called a salicyl aldehyde salicyl aldehyde if there is cho in this position it is called a salicylic acid now there is a question that why the aldehyde group is inserted in the ortho position not in para or meta position so the reason is let me draw the structure in a different way so that you can understand easily so this is phenol and this is aldehyde group so there will be a hydrogen bond between the oxygen of the phenol group and hydrogen of the aldehyde group that is why it is the aldehyde group is introduced in the ortho position right the aldehyde group is introduced in the ortho position okay let us have a closer look of this reaction what is given in your ncrt book that is phenol when treated with naoh chcl3 chloroform it gives O minus Na plus CHCl2 in this position, and again, if it is treated with the NaOH, it gives O minus Na plus here in this position CHO, and further it is acid hydrolysis H plus H2O. We can get salicyl aldehyde. That is CHO. Now we have a doubt how it works on how CHCl2 is formed, how that CHCl2 gets converted into CHO. So this is what we we want to learn, right? So this kind of questions, this kind of uh, questions will be asked in the NEET J exams. So let's go for the mechanism. Take a screenshot of this one. Let us go for the mechanism now. Mechanism. So what happens here? First step, let us treat with the, let us go with this reagent, right? That is NaOH is a base, you know, NaOH plus CH Cl3. Right, CHCl3. Right, you know that the chlorine is being highly electronegative, it pulls the electron towards itself. It pulls the electron towards itself. And that's why the carbon is also pulling the electron towards itself. Got it? And the role of uh, NaOH is to provide OH minus ion. Right, this OH minus ion gives its electron to this hydrogen and abstract this hydrogen, leaving the electron to the carbon atom itself. That gives rise to C, 3 chlorine and the carbon has this electron. The bond between the carbon and hydrogen, that electron the carbon will have because of that acquiring electron it acquires a negative charge. Negative charge plus H2, it goes on plus H2, right. Now, at this stage here, this chlorine is being highly electronegative. It takes its electron away and one of the chlorine gets away, gives rise to the product C, Cl, Cl, no HCl. 
with its electron. So now the carbon has given the electron so that it acquires a plus charge, so positive and negative get cancelled. So this is an intermediate form in this reaction and this is called as dichloro, dichlorocarbene, dichlorocarbene. This is intermediate form, dichlorocarbene. And you can understand here, here the octet of the carbon has not been completed. Here two electrons and here two electrons and here two, totally six electrons are there. But it requires two more electrons to complete the octet. So it behaves as a Lewis acid. Lewis acid. Lewis acid means that require a pair of electrons. So it behaves like a Lewis acid. Okay. Now let it be. This is intermediate formed and waiting for the reaction. Let us go for the phenol now. Yeah. What happens to the phenol here? Let me write that. OH. Right. So what happens here? This when treated with OH minus, that is NaOH provides OH layer. So that what happens here, this uh, negative charge has been given to this hydrogen and this hydrogen alone moves away and this electron moves to the oxygen atom and stays as negative, stays as a negative charge. So we can get O minus, right. Here I am writing the bonds here. So what happens? This oxygen has an excess of electrons so that it gives its electron for resonance. So this electron comes here. Meanwhile, this electron stays as a negative charge here. This gives rise to the structure. Here the two bonds are as it is and here O double bond here and here there is a negative charge. Now comes the role of the dichlorocarbon. So here plus Cl, Cl, two electrons, right? Now, it is a Lewis acid, right? It requires electron. Here, there is a pair of electrons as a negative charge. So what happens? This comes on, this electron makes a bond with this carbon atom and that gives rise to double bond O, the two bonds are as it is here this negative charge makes a bond with the carbon so it will be c cl cl now this carbon has acquired this electron so that this acquires a negative charge and here this is a hydrogen present in this carbon atom here in this ch2 this is a hydrogen present in this carbon atom now at this stage what happens is that to retain the aromaticity this hydrogen gives its pair of electron to this ring to maintain the aromaticity and meanwhile it gets transferred to the carbon by accepting this pair of electrons. The carbon has a negative charge in it. The carbon gives its electron and abstracts the hydrogen atom. The hydrogen atom gives its bond of electrons to the benzene ring itself so that here the bond has been transferred. Again the oxygen takes back its electron here. So that gives rise to So oxygen again, it takes back this electron, so O minus. These two bonds are not disturbed here. This is not the bond here, actually the bond should be here, no? right, are not disturbed here. And here what happened, the carbon has acquired the hydrogen and two chlorine, and two chlorines, as it is. Is it clear? Now what happens? This when reacts with NaOH, 2 NaOH, 2 NaOH. The role of NaOH is to give OH minus ion. Here, nucleophilic substitution reaction takes place. What happens? The OH minus 2 NaOH minus ion goes and attacks this carbon from either side. Right? At the time, the chlorine gets relieved away. The chlorine gets relieved away. So, we can get the product like this. These two bonds have been undisturbed and here one bond has been arrived here. Yes, here one bond has been arrived here. And so this is O minus. Now it will be CH. And here instead of two chlorine, two OH has been attached. The two OH groups are not stable in a carbon. So what happens that? The elimination reaction takes place. So the H2O gets eliminated. That gives rise to
O minus and let me draw a ring. Right, let me draw a ring here. And here it will be C H to maintain the valence double bond. Rule. So at this stage, what happens? This requires a proton. So we are acid hydrolyzing the compound. So by the way, what happens? This gets a proton. Here the phenoxide ion gets a proton. OH then here CHO. So that's the desired product that is salicylic aldehyde. Right? That is salicylic aldehyde. Let us come from the beginning one more time. So listen here. What is the reaction actually? Phenol when treated with NaOH, CHCN3 and acid hydrolyzed use a salicylic aldehyde. That is a one line. And in your NCR debug, without mechanism, they had given that phenol and treated with NaOH converts into sodium phenoxide ion plus CHCl2 as in the dark opposition. And when it is treated with NaOH, the CHCl2 directly gets converted into this CHO. That is, that is a problem. That is a problem where uh, we are not able to understand. That gets converted to CHO. And then, as usual, acid hydrolysis, we can get the salicylated product. Now, in the mechanism, first the NaOH and the CHCl3 reacts together to give an intermediate called dichlorocarbon. The dichlorocarbon acts as a Lewis acid and that reacts with the phenoxide ion and substitution, nucleophilic substitution reaction takes place, which gives a nucleophilic substitution reaction takes place and then elimination of water molecule take place which gives rise to the aldehyde group in the ortho position and then hydrolysis takes place in the case of sodium phenoxide it gives rise to final product salicyl aldehyde salicyl